come with me for a fun and fascinating look at many types of racing cars, motorcycles, and go-karts. Today, we're going to a racetrack in Tooele, Utah. Utah is a state located in the western part of the United States in the Rocky Mountains. The racetrack we're visiting is Miller Motorsports Park. This park has one of the most modern and extensive racing facilities in the United States. You're looking at an aerial view of the racetrack right now. This track is located at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. Some of these mountains reach up to 12,000 feet above sea level, or 4,000 meters. The racing facility itself is about 5,000 feet above sea level. There are always lots of entertaining things happening at the track. Come with me. Today, we're going to the racetrack. This car started out as a regular Ford Mustang, but it's been modified. And now you are looking at a high performance race car. If you want to drive one of these race cars, you'll need the same protective gear you wear on the go-kart track. A good helmet, strap yourself in, and you're ready to go. Notice the bar across the windshield. Windshield. This is part of an internal roll cage that will maintain the integrity of the car during an accident, even an accident where the car tips over and rolls several times. This Ford Mustang has been race prepared. Many of the parts of the Mustang, which are not necessary for racing, have been removed. For example, the rear seats, the radio, the air conditioning, and the heater. They've all been taken out. This drops the weight of the car from about 3,500 pounds to under 3,000 pounds. The suspension has also been modified and stiffened to make the car corner tighter and handle better in the turns. The engine on this car is a V8 motor, V8 motor. It has eight cylinders in a V formation and displaces about 5,000 cc's or five liters. This engine has been modified to increase its horsepower output from under 300 horsepower to nearly 400 horsepower. This really increases the car's ability to accelerate. This car also features lightweight alloy rims and low profile racing tires. Anything that reduces the weight of the car helps it go faster and handle better. This may look like a typical street car, but it's not. It has been heavily modified and it is fun to drive on a racetrack. This father-son team is about to head out to the track in a pair of Mustangs. They are excited to get onto the track. Before driving on the track, it's important to remember some safety rules. Always wear a protective race suit in case of fire. This father and son team are wearing red racing suits. Notice the safety harness. This is one of the most important safety features on any race car. Seat belts must be properly adjusted to hold the driver firmly in place. Everything must be properly adjusted, including the seat, to make sure the driver is both safe and comfortable in the race car.
This driver has his helmet on with the visor in place. He's wearing his neck protector, protective racing suit, and gloves. Everything is properly adjusted, so he is ready to go. The first laps on the track are always warm-up laps. Cars are driven at half speed to give the drivers the opportunity to warm the engines, warm the tires, and get a feel for track conditions. Cars perform very differently depending on the temperature of the track and other conditions. Tires adhere better to the track once they are warmed. A hot track often provides better grip, so cars go faster and lap times are lower as a result. After several laps, the cars begin to go faster and faster. Notice that some of the cars have wings on their rear deck. This creates downforce, which allows the cars to corner more quickly than cars without wings. The checkered flag means the lapping session is over. Come into the pits. The drivers will make one more lap around the track before entering the pits to allow the cars to cool down to normal operating temperatures. Car racing includes all different types of cars. These Mustangs were designed to drive on the street, but they have been modified for racing. Are you looking for a way to change your life? The answer may be as easy as watching TV. Introducing Hello Channel, an exciting new channel that's designed to teach you to speak English. New opportunities will be available to you when you learn the language of the internet, commerce, travel, and diplomacy. No need to pay for your expensive schools or tutors. You can learn English by watching Hello Channel. Invest in yourself. For a brighter future, say hello. Welcome to Come With Me. Today, we're going to the racetrack. This is a prototype racing car. It's very light, very fast, and very expensive. Let's look in the cockpit. You'll notice it doesn't look anything like the car you drive on the street. Course workers control the race through the use of flags. Course workers are stationed at most turns and at the start line and the finish line. 
Course workers stay in communication through headphones and microphones. The course worker at the start line and the finish line makes decisions that affect the race. This position is called race control. Race control. Drivers must pay close attention to the course workers in order to avoid serious problems. It is critical that all drivers understand the purpose of each flag and react to the instructions they receive from course workers through the use of these flags. If you're going to race any car, you'll need to know the rules of the road. Those rules include understanding what each flag means. This one, the green flag, means the race is on. If you see this flag, the yellow flag, that means slow down. This blue flag means someone behind you is going faster than you're driving. Move over. When you see this flag, it means stop immediately. The red flag means warning. There's some trouble on the racetrack. When you see this flag, it means the race is almost finished. The white flag means one lap to go. This is the black flag. There's something wrong with your car or you're driving recklessly. Come in off the track. I think we've all seen this one before. This is the checkered flag. It means race is over. We have a winner. <laughs>